in Salesforce, you can trigger an action from Flow that will send a screen flow to a Slack channel. For example, you could send a screen flow to a specific Slack channel when a case is closed. I have already created a Slack channel ID field on both the case object and the account object. I'm going to demonstrate how I've got a flow to be triggered to a specific Slack channel when the case is closed. The first part of this puzzle is a screen flow which a user will initialize and run within Slack. This screen flow is designed to display information related to the closed case and allows a user to make updates from Slack without having to switch back into Salesforce. It's starting by getting the triggering case record. It's then set to display a screen with key information related to the case and allows the running user to adjust the priority, type, reason, and origin. It then proceeds to update the case record accordingly, and at the end, it will display a confirmation message to say that the case has been successfully updated. To make a flow available in Slack, you need to select that checkbox under the advanced properties. If I jump back to flows, and I go into my record triggered flow. This is what's sending the screen flow to Slack. It's related to a case. So when a case status equals closed, the flow will be triggered. The flow includes a async path. This is required because Slack is an external system that the flow is calling. I've just got one action and this is to send the flow to Slack. From here, you can see I've configured the action to run as a specific Slack app and workspace. In order for these values to be populated or show the available options, you need to already be connected to Slack. I've also defined who the action is going to run as. And you can see here that I've fed in the Slack channel ID from the related account. I've customized the message. I've used merge fields from the case and the current user, I've set the button to display review case. Within the screen flow, there is an input variable for the record ID so that the flow has the context of the case it is running against. Back in Salesforce, I've got a case and I'm gonna move it to closed. You can see within Slack, I've got the message and I can press the review case to start the flow. From here, I can update the case priority, type, reason, and also reconfirm the case origin, and then press next. That will update my record in Salesforce and display a confirmation 